<laughs> so it's just pretending to rain. Okay, this is our day four. Uh, this is our first rainy day. It was raining quite heavily. Uh, it's very cold now. The rain just stopped. And uh, before we leave this camp, I wanted to show you how the toilets looks like. Camp is uh, a bit far away. So there is like three minutes to walk to the toilet. And if it's raining, then that makes things a bit complicated. Okay. And this is one of the fanciest toilets. So the roads are slippery because of the rain. So our driver put a something on his tires which yeah. turns on the four-wheel drive. And then it's no problem. There is not a problem. Well, he made well, it out of the first time. I don't know what he did. Yeah. He just put that on top of it. Just put something on the tire and then it's a four-wheel drive. Rain was something that we didn't expect to experience in a semi Gobi desert. Back in the van, already hungry and tired, our next stop is going to be a local restaurant in a small village along the way to our next destination. <laughs> Shock, shock. Uh-huh. You say that come over down. Yeah, but that was funny. Our last day of the tour, we are staying with another nomadic family. Uh, this time, our camp is a bit more isolated than the previous ones. And for the dinner on the menu, we have a barbecue, traditional Mongolian barbecue, which is called Korkok. Uh, it's made of cooking pieces of meat inside a container, which also contains hot stones and water, and is often also heated from the outside. <laughs> In the evening 
think we learned how to play ankle bones, traditional game in Mongolia. <laughs> Played using ankle bones of sheep or goats. Depending on which side bone land, it can represent camel, horse, goat or sheep. So happy, he's so happy. Da, 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 da. Come on. Oh, you look so happy. So happy, happy life. Happy, happy life, belongs to them. It's their car. So they rent themselves out. <laughs> we said goodbye to the family and headed to our last stop before Ulaanbaatar, which is Hustai National Park, the land of wild horses. It's a home to Mongolians last remaining population of wild horses. One of the most magical moments of our trip here was when we saw these wild horses. We were really lucky to spot one group of them very quickly. As they are completely free to move around this large conservation area, it's not rare that visitors often don't see them at all. There are certain rules that need to be respected. The most important one is to not get close to horses and scare them. With a picture of these beautiful creatures in our minds, we are leaving Hustai and heading back to Ulaanbaatar. This is where we are finishing our tour around Mongolia. For us, this was unique and definitely unforgettable experience. Mm -hmm.